Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, Throne and Liberty News. Let's check what is happening with this new upcoming PC MMORPG. Everything regarding global release of Throne and Liberty and also what is happening in Korea. Before we start, let me just say subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more of Throne and Liberty videos in the future. As you can see, I'm already here on official website of Throne and Liberty and I will show you what happened. Actually, previous week was pretty exciting in the world of Throne and Liberty. Sadly, not that much regarding global release of Throne and Liberty. However, order in Korea, you'll see many interesting things are happening. Also, I just need to mention that I'm playing Throne and Liberty since release order in Korea on Korean servers. You can check every evening my live streams on Twitch about 6 p.m. Central European time. I'm currently leveling up my second character. I have reached already level 50, maximum level in the game with my first character. Now I'm trying different kind of combination of weapons. So check different kind of guides on my YouTube channel. I currently have 120 videos from World of Throne and Liberty. Guides regarding different kind of topics, so check them out if you are interested into this new upcoming game. Now, enough talking, let's check what is happening over there first on Korean servers of Throne and Liberty. First thing here which you will notice is server merge, which happened on January 17. You can see here, I can mark this server as SOTA, because right now I'm playing on a SOTA server. I used to play on the server which was named Kazar, but they have merged, you can see here, Kazar and Wisp together, and now name of the server where I play is Asota. Regarding this server merge, just to clarify everything, it's not happening because number of players is getting low. Absolutely not. This server merge is only because of one thing. First big siege will happen very soon in Throne and Liberty. I mean, on one side, it's kind of normal they are doing server merge because over there for release of the game, there was 21 servers up. Can you imagine that? 21 servers. Popularity of this game is still very high over there in Korea. Don't worry about that. Population of players is still extremely high. So this server merge was kind of normal way, something normal to expect before first big major update in Throne and Liberty. That first big siege should happen between February 2nd and February 4th. I will let you know about that. That first big siege, really big massive siege with thousands of players participating. I will try to participate and you will see also some gameplay footage here on my YouTube channel. Also probably on my live streams, right? So first thing which happened in the previous week in, on January 17 was this server merge. However, that was not the only thing. You can also see here on January 17, we have yet, I wouldn't say again, this was not a big major update, nevertheless, it was actually a pretty big update. You can see here we have yet second arc boss, Tevant. You, uh, you can see here implemented in the game. Then what else did we get? Next, uh, uh, new solo dungeon. Yes, second solo dungeon. From before, we already have many different kind of open world dungeons, instance dungeons, and also we already had one solo dungeon. This is now second solo dungeon of Throne and Liberty. And also, not that easy. I already tried to play it. It's actually pretty hard, which is good. Nothing wrong with that. It should be challenge in this game. Content in this game should be challenging. That is good. And many other things. Okay, this is important. For this new update, I'm just showing you most important things, of course. Don't worry. I will not uh, spend the next one hour to show you that full update. If you are interested into this full patch note, check analysis of this patch note three days ago on my YouTube channel. I have one video dedicated only to these patch notes where I analyze all the changes. Every Tuesday on my YouTube channel, every Tuesday in the evening, you'll find special video on my YouTube channel where I analyze patch notes, brand new patch notes. Just to show you right for this uh, video, we can also get this skill conversion book system. Something interesting, something amazing, very good idea from developers of the game. Basically, you can change, you can switch enchantment level of two skills. There is a whole mechanics, there are lots of mechanics regarding this system, I will not explain now in details, however, very good idea from developers of the game. And I can show you just, I will scroll a little bit down to show you, they are adjusting balance between weapons, this is kind of normal I would say, balance between weapons is still not perfect, they need to make a little bit more powerful magical weapons like a wand and stuff, also greatsword doesn't feel powerful right now, and they probably need to a little bit nerf a longsword, a longsword. 
They probably need to nerf a little bit uh, bow and crossbow, maybe dagger, so-so, because they are feeling pretty powerful right now at this moment. But I just want to show you here how huge was this update. NCSoft, developers of this game, they are doing a really amazing work over there in Korea. Check this out. Many changes, fixes, uh, so many adjustments to the game. And this is good for us while we are waiting for global release of Serrano Liberty. I hope one day in the future when we get... Uh, that first version of the game for release, maybe all of these changes will be already implemented to the game. That means that we will get for global release better polished version of the game. Check this out, right? Really massive update. So this is update from January 17. A few new events are happening also. New skin, new skin was implemented into the game. Uh, currently, we don't have too many skins in Throne and Liberty. Uh, there is a special part of user interface in the game, uh, which is called the Mirror Boutique. Or there you can change appearance of your weapons, armor, and uh, currently we can get new skins with this uh, January 17 update. And you can see here uh, additional events. Like I said, check dedicated video regarding this update if you are interested into details regarding regarding analysis of this update on my YouTube channel from let's say three days ago. Uh, for this evening, just to let you know what happened in the previous week. Also, I can show you here. Oh, this is huge. So. Just two days ago, about 48 hours ago, we have get producer letter number seven. Thank you very much to gentlemen from NCSoft, the producer of the game, for this actually really interesting letter explaining us, explaining us this integration stats a system which is coming to the game on January 31st. I will make a dedicated video only about this topic. You will see that video on my YouTube channel uh, during, uh, within next few days. Within the uh, next few days, you will see this video. Uh, too early for this video for now. Also, I can already, uh, I'm already preparing a new video regarding this. <laughs> Actually, let me show you. Siege. First the big siege, which I have already mentioned, right? Which will happen very soon in Throne of Liberty. One of the main reasons why we actually play MMORPGs is that massive content. In this siege, there will be thousands and thousands of players, not hundreds, thousands. Can you imagine that? It will be something huge. I'm preparing special video on my YouTube channel for uh, probably day after tomorrow, uh, where you will see, uh, where you will be able to see different kind of features of uh, this siege, what is happening with this siege uh, regarding different kind of mechanics. It's actually really interesting. On the end of this. A big letter from producer of the game. We have got the post scriptum regarding global uh, version of the game. Very interesting information, very important information. That global version of the game will be exactly the same as Korean version of the game. Thank you very much, NCSoft, for this officially confirmed information because many people were talking about that. You can check on my YouTube channel dedicated video from yesterday when I'm actually analyzing this thing regarding global version of the game, how it look global version of the game and which changes Amazon games can actually make for our uh, right uh, version of the game. And uh, check that video from yesterday on my YouTube channel. However, thank you very much, NCSoft and uh, producer of the game, right? You can see here, Ah Young Ok. Uh, I apologize if I didn't pronounce this correctly uh, to producer of the game for giving us this information that uh, because many people were assuming that we will get completely changed version of the game. No, business model, free to play, loosened everything regarding Solent, regarding Battle Pass, regarding in-game features, everything will be the same as it is currently in Korea. So. Yeah, very interesting information from previous week. So, regarding Korean version of the game, you can see many, many interesting things are happening over there. NCSoft is trying also to fight against both accounts. That is still a currently issue in the game. And uh, they are improving the game, uh, fixing uh, many kind of bugs. Don't worry, there is no any kind of big bugs, uh, like, uh, for example, in New World, if you remember that, a release of New World from Amazon Games like two years ago. No, we are not talking about that. They are adjusting balance between weapons, adding new features to the game. We have seen announcement that many new interesting in-game features will be implemented to the game very, very soon, including cross-server matchmaking system. Imagine that. Cross-server matchmaking system will be implemented in the game very soon. Many, many other changes. When time comes, you will see those videos on my YouTube channel. I will keep you updated regarding everything what is happening regarding Korean version of the game because whatever we see is happening over there in Korea. I mean, regarding server mergers, that also probably. But regarding new updates, everything will happen one day 
in global version of the game. That's why it's very interesting to follow what is happening over there on Korean servers. Now, regarding global version of the game, sadly, sadly, I don't know what to say. Yeah, I'm speechless. I'm speechless. And that is very rare. That is very rare. If you're following my YouTube channel and my live streams, then you know I talk a lot. I really do talk a lot. But regarding global version of the game, Amazon games, what are you doing? Uh, uh, nothing. Guys, there is nothing, right? Today is evening of January 18. When I'm making this video, you'll see this video on my YouTube channel uploaded uh, tomorrow, probably. Uh, January 19, not probably for sure. And uh, nothing. Nothing, right? So we are now a month and a half after a Korean release of Throne and Liberty. And we are now about three months. Actually, wait a second. It's exactly three months since we can get a last previous right information officially from Amazon Games. That was for technical test. That was on October 18, 2023. Since October 18, 2023. Nothing, absolutely nothing. Amazon Games is posting about Lost Ark January update, about Lost Ark and reveals part one of the 2024 content roadmap, Eternal Frost latest season of New World. Nobody cares. Who cares? I mean, we are now in 2024. Lost Ark still alive, absolutely. New World not alive. Uh, these games. Well, they are old games. We want Throne and Liberty, something new. And yeah, nothing. They are completely silent. Uh, guys, I'm checking every single day all the official sources. I'm checking unofficial sources. When I see any kind of new information regarding global release of Throne and Liberty, you'll see it instantly here on my YouTube channel. For this evening, sadly, I cannot offer you any kind of news except to say that we should get information very soon. At least I think information regarding next beta test. Beta test should be up very soon in Q1, quarter one of 2024. But uh, yeah, there is no cert certainty in anything, right? Who knows what will happen? I think that it will happen very soon. That is my assumption, my guess. Nobody knows for sure. And uh, like I said, when I see any kind of new information regarding Throne and Liberty, global release of the game, and of course what is happening over there on Korean version of the game, I will let you know about that instantly here on my YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on Twitch. I'm live streaming every evening about 6 p.m. Central European time. Probably right now when you are watching this video, I'm already live streaming. Check my live stream on Twitch. You, are, you can join to my live stream. You can ask different kind of questions regarding the game. If you have any kind of questions, I'll be happy if I will manage to help you. And uh, stay tuned. Uh, on my YouTube channel for some news. I hope some very good news soon. Uh, stay positive, stay hyped. There is a reason to be hyped. This is one really extraordinary game, beautiful game. And what to say except uh, we can only hope that very soon we'll see some announcement from Amazon Games. Thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch to see more of Throne and Liberty videos in the future. See you soon.